Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do the surface area of a cone. Now the surface area of a cone includes the cone, so if you think of an ice cream, the cone, and then the base at the bottom, which is the clear area where they chuck the ice cream inside. So the area of the base, which would be the circle, is going to be pi r squared. We know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. The area of a cone is going to be plus pi r l. Now what is l? l refers to the slanted height of the cone. l is the slanted height of the cone. Now why it is important is because the slanted height is the specific side whereas in the perpendicular height is straight down. So the L refers to the slanted height. So if I want to calculate the surface area, it's going to equal to pi. And then my R is going to be 12 squared plus pi. Again, 12. And we're going to multiply it by 13, which is the slanted height. So here we have 144 pi plus 12 times 13 which is equal to 156 pi giving us a total of 300 pi centimeters squared because we are working with area now to calculate the volume the volume is equal to a third pi r squared h. Now the h in this question refers to the perpendicular height which is in the center. So what I am referring to now is this specific point. Now if you look out of the drawing what do we have? We have 12 centimeters we have 13 centimeters. How do we calculate the following side? We know it's a perpendicular height. We are going to use Pythagoras. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Our r is the side opposite the hypotenuse, so we know that is 13 squared. We're going to use the 12 as x squared and y squared. Doesn't matter if you put the 12 in the y squared, you would have still came to the same answer. So we got y squared is equal to 169 minus 144. y squared is equal to 25. y is equal to 5. We only consider the positive because it is a length. So now we have that h is 5. So the volume is a third pi. Our r is 12 squared and our h is 5. So we've got 1 over 3 times 12 squared times 5 which is equal to 240 pi and we're going to say centimeter cubed because it is volume. Thank you for watching.